Bro, which one of these games is Kevin Durant going to take over and be like, we're not losing this series? Is it going to be this game? Like, it wasn't the last. It has he. What's happening to Kevin Durant? It doesn't matter because I'm taking him under. You already know. Let's get into it. Bro, OG Ananobi. Look at this. OG Ananobi rebound line is at four and a half. The under is favorite to go. <laughs> the favorite to go under at minus 138. Look at this. I don't have, I'm so high. Look at this. Head to head versus head to head versus the 76ers. This is OG and an over rebounds at f. Head to head versus the 76ers. Come on, bro. What's happening? I know he's here to play defense and he scores off like putbacks or he, he could play well from the dunk position like uh, Aaron Gordon does, but he plays tremendous defense. However, how is this happening? Are y'all seeing this? Let me make sure I'm still popping. Are you seeing this? How is this happening? 4-4-4. Four, four, four. Let's take a look at his rebound chances. Hmm. That's interesting. The numbers are skewed heavy for it to be so consistent like this. What's happening? Bro, I'm taking OG and Anobi to go under four and a half rebounds. Let's go. Yo, Dante DiVincenzo. Listen, he has a couple of interesting lines. First of all, I think his assist line, I'm going to go at points and assists. The over 16 and a half is plus 100. He didn't come close to it in the last game, but in the last 10 games, let's look at just head to head versus Philly. In these playoff games, it's been hurting. But I was interested in just the assist line. As I saw that, the over, over two and a half assists, like, look, it's like the same thing with OG and Anobi, right? What's going on? That's interesting. That is very interesting. I am not taking DiVincenzo over two and a half. It's minus 122. I mean, that's what you get. That's what you can, can consider you're playing if you play a three band that pays out six X. Your odds are roughly 122. Um, I'm going to move on. Yo, Daniel Gafford under 13 and a half points and rebounds. This is head to head versus the Clippers. You know, like even when he played 25 minutes, you know, he, he attempts four shots a game. This line is kind of like cheating, but it's only at minus 105. You know what I'm saying? Bro, what the first two games were abysmal. He looked bad. I was like, I feel sorry for not betting on him. I was like, what's going on? I'm taking Daniel Gafford to go under, by the way, 13 and a half points and rebounds. Like, if you look at this, <laughs> like, even when he tried, he had eight points and four rebounds. Bro, it felt, it says, the insight says that Daniel Gafford has failed to exceed 12 and a half points and rebounds in four of his, four of his last five games at home, averaging 12.2 points and rebounds in those games. The line is at 13 and a half. I'm sneaking under Daniel Gafford. 13. Watch we get watch I get him by the hook. Under 13 and a half points and rebounds. Let's go. Hey, for those of you who remember, you seen the Luca play. I know you seen the Luca play. I know you seen the hit. I don't bring up old plays whether they miss or they hit, really. But the I'm saying this is because I hit it five out of the six times that I played it. It was the same thing with the Jalen Brunson under PRAs versus Philly. Bro, I'm just following data and then keeping up with the Picket app. If you have not downloaded the Picket app to track your bets, you're already losing. We're playing parlays, bro. You need to understand. Use my Picket code. I got to put that on here somewhere now that I said it. Damn, I was just going to end the video and upload that bitch. Luka Doncic rebounds and assists is at 19 and a half minus 112, but my, what I'm interested in is points and assists. Look, I'm going to put, like, the over 43 and a half is plus 102, but look at this, bro. Like, this is versus the Clippers, bro. Like, I, I don't know if I played it 10 times, but I played it, I mean, I don't know if I played it 10 times straight. But I know that I played, I mean, damn it. <laughs> I 
I don't know the times that I played it where they in back to back games, but I know that I'm five for six on this play. So just looking at this, you can tell it was easy to catch that. Look at the last 20 games. It was easy to catch that when I caught it. This is going into the playoffs. I was screaming it. I posted TikToks about it. I made videos about it. Like anyway, I'm doing it again. Luka Doncic is under 43 and a half points and it says, don't follow this play. Don't follow any of these plays. Just look at what I'm showing you and uh, make your own decision. Patrick Beverly, uh, his points and assists and his uh, points and rebounds, I think, that I saw. Both of them are at 14 and a half. This is this last 10 games and this is a uh, head-to-head versus Indiana. Bro, he is not covering. He is not going, he is not covering. That's his, uh, that was his points. I mean, first quarter points. Points and assists. Hey, I hit that shave under first quarter. Damn, that was TikTok. Anyway, under first quarter points. That's what had me to hit that ticket on Dabble. Bro, I hit three parlays yesterday. Y'all seen the video, man. I mixed all those players up just like this. And then, you know what I mean? I played three of these, put these three together, put these three together, and bang, bang, bang. Y'all saw the video or you saw me on TikTok or something. I'm sorry, let me get back. Patrick Beverly, bro, points and rebounds and his points and assists. He's not going over. I'm playing both of them in some form of fashion. They only minus 112. Like, it's still without Giannis. I did it without Giannis. We did all. I can show you. Because why not? He's a game time decision this game, which is important, but still, especially if Giannis play. You know what I'm saying? It, it didn't matter. The difference with uh, Giannis because it wasn't he wasn't here and there wasn't a lot of games enough games to find any before he was traded over to them. Anyway, it's a fun play for me. I don't suggest you do it. I'm doing it. Come back and tell me in the comments why I shouldn't have done it. Yo, Aaron Naismith under five and a half rebounds. The last game he had eight, and I was like, why is it minus one twenty? I think they don't know if Giannis is back. The honest game time decision affects the players on both teams, especially in the rebound categories or anything that has to do with the paint. But I thought it was interesting when I saw it, and I was like, why? What's going on? I'm like, oh, nah. I'm staying away from this one, too. Hey, Kevin Durant is not hitting three threes. Look at this. Three points made. The under is at minus 174. Minus 174? Of course, it's going on the parlay. This is the last 10 games, but this is head to head versus Minnesota. He is not hitting three threes. He ain't taking enough. He averaging three a game versus the Timberwolves. He took five last game and hit one. Those were desperation, too, trying to get back in the game. Bro, Kevin Durant is not hitting three threes. I played it. You know, I played these before. You know, if I tell you, I'm, if I tell you I played it before, I'll probably pay it five, six, seven different times. Anyway, he's not hitting three threes. Kevin Durant under a Bradley Bill. Whoa, let me check out something. Hold on real quick. What was I? Yo, Bradley Bradley Bill, rebounds and assists. Bro, if y'all were, man, I wasn't making YouTube videos then, but this was on TikTok when it was at nine and a half. Oh my God, it was crazy. The, t- the times that I needed him to cover. Anyway, last 10 games. It's hitting at 70%. This is the under, by the way, at minus 125. It's hitting at 70%. Last 10 games at 70%. This is head-to-head versus the Timberwolves. You know what I'm saying? He's not getting it. This is head-to-head versus the Timberwolves. He had four assists, six assists, six assists, two two rebounds, four rebounds, four rebounds. But this is a desperation game, so he can, he should. But, you know, you play it the other way. I'm playing it this way because these boys choking. Kevin Durant, like these boys are choking. That roster is not co- that roster is not constructed to win games, not even in the playoffs, because you can't have three incredible offensive players that and not one of them have a defensive mindset to make that a first priority. No, nah, y'all done. It's over. And I think they're gonna continue choking. I felt the same way about CJ McCollum unders and, and Bradley Bill, Bradley Bill, Brandon Ingram, all both of them smacked. That's how I hit the ticket today. One of the tickets today. Let's go. And 
Devin Booker under four. I ain't even gonna show you this. I'm gonna show you this, but I'm gonna tell you first, bro. Devin Booker under four rebounds. I don't know what it is, but this man is not interested in getting rebounds. All right. The line is at three and a half. The over three and a half is plus one hundred two. Come on, bro. It's only at minus one thirteen. But look at the last ten games, hitting at eighty percent. And this is head to head. This is head to head versus Minnesota. Like the fact that you're hovering around here, like I don't care. I'm gonna keep going under as I have in every game until you show me that I should be betting the other way. I'm taking Devin Booker under four rebounds, bro. It's been smacking every time for me when I played it. Why did I just do every time? So out of all of those, I'm gonna select three. I'm gonna select three for you here right now because I've already played so. <laughs> I've already mixed up others and that I haven't even put in here. But that Devin Booker under four rebounds is on. Kevin Durant under three under three three pointers made. It's on. And then any one of the Knicks plays uh DiVincenzo with the assist or OG Ananobi under five rebounds. That blows me. You know? But it's been cashing. That blows me. It, 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 man, I'm playing it. That's my three. Kevin Durant, Bradley Beal, and OG Ananobi. I'm going to drop it tomorrow. I'm going to drop TikToks tomorrow about it. If it hit or if it lose. You already know how I do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Well, how you watch this video, all you not subscribe people and don't subscribe. You see me growing, man. I had 200 subscribers a couple of weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Let's get this dough.